So let's talk about the biggest hype fight, Mark Zuckerberg versus Elon Musk. Fight. Hey guys, Nick here and welcome to the channel. So who do you think is going to win the fight? Zuckerberg or, or Musk? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll give you my opinion at the end of the video. So the funny thing about this whole situation is how hypocritical Dana White is. Because first and foremost he criticizes boxing about doing all these gimmicky matches. And that's one of the big problems with boxing right now is it's, it's all about these gimmicky type fights. And that's just not what I do here. It's not what I do. And then right after that, with this whole Zuckerberg versus Musk thing. This would be the biggest fight ever in the history of the world. If they really want to do it and they're serious and we can figure it out and figure out a way to pull this off, I would absolutely positively do this. Never mind the fact that the UFC and MMA has been built upon uh, gimmick fights or just gimmicks. Remember the early UFC? The whole thing was about no rules. Being be forewarned, there are no rules, no judges' scores, and no time limit. Or remember Pride FC with the freak show fights? Bob Sapp? <laughs> you know, giants fighting smaller people? Never mind, you still got Fight Circus today. Remember CM Punk fighting in UFC? Mike Jackson, who had zero fear of him and just was so casual and just popping him in the face anytime he wanted to. And Twice? Both fail? Him decisively. The performance was, it pissed Dana White off so bad the way he was fighting that he, he called him a fucking idiot and he said he'll never fight in the UFC again. And he won. But made somebody a lot of money. This would be the biggest fight ever in the history of the world. There's money in gimmick fights, and Zuckerberg versus Musk will be no different, no matter how terrible it will be. People will still pay money to see untrained guys brawl, because these fights can be severely entertaining, <laughs> or severely terrible and boring. But anything of this nature is sold on the premise of a gimmick. Now. We have the gimmick of two of the richest people in the world fighting. People will pay money to see this. And if you think I am wrong about seeing untrained people fight, street beefs exist. And that's still going strong. You still have fights of seeing massive people fight little people. Remember when Gabby Garcia fought that uh, grandmother of a pro wrestler. Talks about how her striking's got better. Oh, the pro wrestling! A few moments later. Volta trying to punch back, but it's simply too much here. Garcia throwing some punches here, going for the... That was a gimmick fight. So, Dana White criticizes boxing by being too gimmicky, but that's what sells. And now he's following the same suit, and, I mean, the whole premise of his business was based upon the gimmicks. But thanks to internet culture, we can hype these sort of ridiculous ideas. Because of internet culture, we're always looking for the next ridiculous idea. And this is probably it. But if we have to put money on this, my money is on Zuckerberg. And I'll tell you why. One, we have actual footage of him training. And we have actual footage of him competing. Is this high level? Of course not. He's a shitty white belt. Got Zuckerberg here. He's got a grip fight better. Guys, you see how he's just holding him? Both opponents are big. The cool training that we see that he does that's so smooth. Is it high level training? Of course not. It's choreographed walkthroughs. Probably edited and sped up to make him look good. But nonetheless, he's training. And he has competed. So he has one up against Musk. However, 
Musk has said that he's been plenty of fights back home in South Africa, and that sounds like bullshit. Now, he may have been in many fights, but let's be honest, he was probably on the receiving end of those fights. He was getting beat up. So the experience that he has, it's not going to really benefit him. But yeah, even though that uh, Zuckerberg's not getting the most high-level training, or Zuckerberg doesn't perform at a high level, at least he's doing something and he may be improving. If you look at him striking, it looks painful to watch because he looks like most people who don't know how to strike, strike. He may have won a white belt level jiu-jitsu competition, but I'm not good at grappling myself. And I have won gold. Just putting that out there. Other guy got disqualified for performing an illegal knee bar. Doesn't matter, still one goal, but at what cost? Anyway, do you get caught in these gimmicky kind of things? Do you find them entertaining? Do you think that this is going to sell? Are you going to watch it? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And until next time, take care.